Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, I'm probably a little late on this one here, but I think everybody has probably heard about that white belt out in California that basically became a quadriplegic, I think. You know, he was rolling with a black belt or a black belt or a brown belt somewhere out there. And the guy, you know, hurt his neck really, really bad, you know, on the roll. And a lot of times what happens is, is it's a, a turtle position here, like the, what I saw in the video. He was kind of on this turtle position here and he was up high. And when he tried to roll him on his back, he literally like picked him up like this and rolled him on his neck. And the guy put all his weight with the other guy's weight and kind of smashed it down. That's why anytime I'm in here and I've done a video on this, usually when I'm doing turtle, I never want to be high. I always want to be back here. Because if I'm up high, it's real easy, especially if they don't know what they're doing, they're going to try to roll over their head. It's just kind of a natural thing. Oh, let me put that back on. It's all right. It's just kind of a natural thing where people bump their heads right there. So I always tell people to stay back here. Yeah. Now, if you if you do yeah. want to take their back and stay pull back. them, don't go that way. Go this way. Or if you are going to go over the neck, don't go that way for safety reasons. Yes. Always kind of go at an angle and back. So even for me, if I'm here and I'm doing this grip, I'll take this top knee and I just kind of cut it in or I'll get on my foot and I literally pull them into me. And as you can see, it lines my foot up for the back take. And all I gotta do is step over and then I have the back. And I'm not rolling him over his neck. And it's honestly a lot more effective because if you have somebody that's super flexible, has a very good guard, really strong neck, if you get up high and they start flipping over, it's easy. You're going to get caught in a triangle. They can arm bar you on the way around. It's a little bit more dangerous. I always tell people, stay back here. It's a lot safer for him, for me, for everybody. And it's the same thing. Go that way. Or if you are going to go that way, same thing. Grip. I'm stepping over and I'm just pulling. And I'm protecting his neck. So for just safety reasons and I think just better jujitsu, you know, I mean, I... I feel bad for the guy that it happened to and you know everybody makes mistakes you're kind of going like a little crazy but if you kind of like always I, in my head I'm always thinking like I'm trying not to pull anybody over their neck just because I've got a bad neck I don't want to hurt anybody else's neck and especially for if you're blue belt purple belt brown belt black belt and you're training with some white belt and they're doing like using that technique prevents them from jumping over and like landing on their neck and the thing that's nice about it, if they are starting to really drive their head here, just, just let them go. I just got to sit back. It makes it real easy for me just to back away. But if I'm up high on him and he starts to roll over his neck, like that's when it starts to, it gets dangerous. And if he's good, you know, I'm here and I'm just a little too high. It's like they come around and then boom, you know, it's just dangerous where it's just, if I'm just a little bit back here and if they're acting crazy, I just, I just, I just back off and let them roll away and start, you know, they'll, they'll roll over do whatever crazy thing they want to do here. And then, you know, just start working your past. It's not worth it. All right. Thanks. Stay tuned.